Come on now. What's up, YouTube? Two Wheeled Logan here. Just getting off work. Like most of my videos are these days. Like, all I ever do is fucking commute. Never get to just go ride anymore. And it friggin' sucks, man. Anyway. But enough of me bitching. I'm alive and I got a job. I can't complain too much. If you, uh, if you follow my Facebook page, which I try to pimp out every time I make a video, uh -huh. and if you didn't know, the, uh, the link is in the description all the time, um, if you follow my Facebook page or Instagram or all, any of that other social-ish, I got a new pair of gloves, you know, you can see them down there, um, or right here, they're, uh, Alpine Star SMX2 Air Carbon, I think is the name. Uh, got them for a steal, like most of the shit that I buy. Um, and like, got them on eBay from some dude, and we haggled on the price for a little while. I figured I'd do a short little review on them, since I like to do that with any kind of new gear I get or other products or items. Um, as you can see, they're uh, they're a lot shorter than my other ones were. They're um, I kind of wanted something a little shorter. My other ones were they weren't gauntlets, but they were over the wrist and I wanted something just kind of short for these summer days and um, I had a pair of fly racing leather gloves and they were they were all right they didn't breathe super well and um, so they get kind of hot on these uh, these hot summer days and um, I got caught in a really bad rainstorm back a while ago and uh, since then they've never really been right, I guess. They were always kind of kind of hard and stiff. And, uh, <laughs> hard and stiff. Um, so I kind of wanted something else, and I thought about getting some gauntlets because I, I want to do a track day eventually. Um, but at the same time, I wanted something that, you know, here in Alabama it gets hot as a motherfucker. And, uh, I wanted something that's going to keep a little cooler. So I started looking at some, and like I, I, I looked at the Icon 29ers or whatever, since I'm an Icon gear whore, and um, I don't know, didn't really like them a lot. I'm sure they're fine gloves. I got, I started looking at a couple other brands, and, um, you know, I like Alpine Star stuff, I've never owned any, but, um, you know, they make good quality stuff, so, I found these, and I like the way they look, and, 
you know, who doesn't like carbon fiber? <laughs> I'm sure it's not even real, but it looks cool. But, um, I like these and I like some of the features, so I just went ahead and got them because I got them for like 30 bucks. And, um, they, uh, I ordered them in a large, my fly racings were, uh, were a large, and they were actually a little loose on me, so I was like, oh, I probably wear a large. I wear a large in every other type of glove I wear, like my work ones or whatever. But, um, yep, there is another gear there. Um, but I wear a large in everything else. I ordered a large in these, and I got them, and, uh, I forget that they're made for small Italian hands, and, um, so they're 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 kind of tight. Nothing uh, nothing too brutal to where it's cutting off circulation in my hands or anything like that. They're uh, and since I've been wearing them a little bit, the leather has stretched out some, so they're they're a lot more comfortable than the first time I put them on. But uh, they you know I still get a little bit of tautness, especially like when I reach over to hit the hit the ignition or starter. And um, but other than that, they're fine. Um, on the interstate right now and so I um, can't look down as much as I'd like to but if uh, the, the top part of them of the chassis I guess would be the word um, the top part of the glove is all mesh and um, they breathe amazingly like my hands have been cool every time I've gone riding lately and um, they uh They've got kind of little vents up under the knuckle that are catching air, so like, you know, my hands stay nice and cool, even though it's been really hot here lately. And, uh, it's got the knuckle, the hard knuckle, you know, because, you know, every motorcycle glove has to have hard knuckles. And, huh, they've got, like, the carbon fiber print on them or whatever. And so they look kind of cool like that. They're very, uh, they're very plain, they don't have a lot of branding on them, just like the small Alpine Star logo. I think my phone's ringing, it's probably my wife, because I'm running a little late from work. So they look nice, they're just kind of sleek and black, match the bike, everything else. Everything I own is kind of black and white or black and gold, except for my helmet. And uh, they've got leather palms in some places and some like uh, thicker impact zones and stuff like that. So overall, really uh, a really nice glove. Uh, a couple things I don't like about it: the uh, since they are supposed to be a breathable glove, the uh, the leather is really thin, and so it's nice in how I can kind of feel everything. And uh, you know, it just makes like they they feel a lot more comfortable. Because of it, but at the same time, I, I question their abilities whenever like a, a crash is involved. And um, uh, I need to make my exit. Pushing kind of their, their thickness or how they'll hold up if I'm in a crash, but I think, I mean, it'll be do fine, you know, something's better than nothing. But, uh, I mean, other than that, I don't really have a lot of complaints about it other than, you know, they're, they're tight. Um, since they're, since they're thinner, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to operate things like my, uh, my Cena's, oh, this old lady's gonna cut me off. I see you looking. But, uh, it's a lot easier to operate, like, my, my Cena than my flies were, because sometimes I couldn't feel the buttons. But, uh, these, you know, they're, they're perfect. Uh, I can kind of operate the drift buttons. Um, you know, they're still a little touch and go with the seam, but, you know, they're, it's a lot 
lot easier than the old ones were. Uh, and they they'll work on a touch screen. It's got these little little uh, bubble kind of rubbery things on the on the tips of the fingers, and um, they will operate a touch screen on a phone. It's uh, it's still fucking extremely difficult to do anything, but you can at least do it. Uh, so overall, really awesome glove. If uh, if you're in the market for kind of a, uh, I'll try and since I'm slowing down here, you can kind of see them a little better. Uh, if you're in the market for a cheaper summer glove, I would I would recommend them. Just make sure that I, I would probably say check the size charts and maybe get a size larger than um, you know than what you you might wear in a different brand. Don't hit me, Prius. But anyways, guys, hope y'all like the review. If you have any questions about the gloves, feel free to let me know. Uh, drop a comment below or direct message me or whatever. Um, if you want to see a better picture of them, go to Facebook or Instagram. They're there. Um, anything else? I uh, Other than that, I don't really have anything. Uh, as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hop over to Facebook. Give that a like if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you on the next one. Later.